What's up, boss fam? This is your boy, Dunn Beasy. And today on Style Skating History, we're going to have another skater spotlight. Today's skater is going to be Uncle Jam, AKA Tool Ray Clark. Let's get it in. Well, I first found out about Mr. Clark while I was reading The Evolution of Skating. Well, today I want to tell you about his story, some of the things that he's done. It starts off to Ray Clark, my roller skating career. The first time I put on roller skates was in Berkeley, California in the 1960s and got to see Richard Humphrey and fellow skaters in Golden Gate Park, San Francisco in the 1970s. Even though people were not connected via social media, these skaters are contemporaries. When I lived in Washington, D.C., my ex-wife took me to the Alexander Roller Dome in Alexandria, Virginia, and I was reintroduced to skating. When I joined the Marine Corps in 1984 and got assigned to Okinawa, Japan, in Camp Kisner with 3rd FSSG, I discovered the skating rink Naha Roller that was only a mile away from my installation. This is where his story gets extremely interesting. We're not just talking about jam skating history or Tool Ray Clark story. We are now talking about the international development of jam skating. That's where I got to learn the art of jam skating in the Far East. From 1984 to 1985 and 1987 to 1988, I spent most of my time skating and learning until my change of duty to Camp Lejeune in Jacksonville, North Kakalaki. While in Jacksonville, there was a local skating rink called Skate World. 1985 to 1987. Every Friday night and Saturday, the rink would be packed, the military and their dependents and locals. On Sunday night, the adult session was at the Galaxy of Sports in Kingston, North Kakalaki, with DJ Magic. In the 1980s, I would travel to different skating rinks and meet and greet different skaters in their styles. After eight years in the Marine Corps, I moved to Southern Georgia and lived in the America's Plains, Georgia area and went skating in Albany, Georgia at Stardust and in the Macon, Georgia area. In 1995, I ran, returned to the Craven County area and back to the Galaxy of Sports in Kingston, North Carolina. I started coming to Raleigh, North Carolina in Skate Ranch on Sunday night and reunited with many skaters from Galaxy of Sports. The first time I heard about Skate-a-thon held in Virginia was from Chris Gaddy. Did you hear what he just said? He went to skate a thon when it was held in Virginia. Did you know the location for skate a thon move? What did he say? After attending that event, he introduced me to rolling in the Carolinas and I was hooked. When I got called to active duty in 2003 and assigned to Fort Jackson, South Carolina from 2003 to 2007, I went skating at the local rink Red Wing Rollerway on Decker Boulevard. This skating rink was the heartbeat of the Columbia area with skaters coming from, North, from Atlanta, North Carolina, and the surrounding area to roll to the awesome mixes by DJ Swag. I would travel to Augustus and skate at Red Wing Rollerway or pass through Atlanta and skate at the Golden Glide. When Red Wing Rollerway was closed because of poor management, the only place for adult skaters to roll was in Charlotte, North Carolina at Kate's. The DJ slash skater, Barry White, asked the owners, the Phillips family, about having a Sunday night adult session and the rest is history. I love hearing stories like this in the evolution of skating because the evolution of roller skating rinks is also the evolution of roller skating culture. So after my many years of skating and becoming the first soldier to create and perform 
for the U.S. Army with the 2009 U.S. Army show. I am honored to have gotten a chance to audition for America's Got Talent four times and give back to my military community at Fort Jackson, South Carolina and across the USA and overseas. After many years of skating, sadly, I had to put my skates on the shelf until I returned to 100% because of having two total hip replacements in 2006-17. Now I am 62 years old, fully recovered, and proud to have had the great opportunity to showcase my God-given talent with my own style. You can see me on YouTube at Uncle Jam 49 and see why my motto is, it's never about me but what is in front of me, that counts. Well, anyway, Boss Fam, if you like this episode of Style Skating History, make sure you drop a like, make sure you subscribe, and if you wanna see more, leave a comment down below and let the boy know what you want. Lark on, Boss Fam. One, two, three.